Mm-hmm. It feels so confident you don't fully love yourself, even if you struggle with anxieties and insecurities. There are so many different seasons to life. And for me, sometimes I feel so confident in myself, so grounded in who I am and socializing, making friends is very easeful and joyful. The energy is just flowing. And other times, everything that I'm saying feels like it's echoing back to me and the air around me is thick. And all I can do is shame myself for how awkward and weird I am or overthink how I might have said something wrong or bad and feel like I'm going to get yelled at. And it's a heavy experience. That's kind of where I've been at the past two weeks. I just feel really shy and awkward. And I've been trying not to identify at all with the label of being introverted, even though that is generally where I sway on the spectrum. But I know that there are certain circumstances that bring out this bright, confident version of myself. And there are certain circumstances that bring out the like deeply self-loathing <laughs> version of myself. And it's not an identity that I want to fully attached to, but I was shy all throughout my childhood and I did have a lot of experiences and moments that told me to get smaller or I had really big reactions that made me just not want to speak, not want to rock the boat. And I've been noticing lately that, whoa, I'm still afraid of being yelled at. I'm still afraid of everyone secretly hating me and none of the information around me is alluding to that. It's like when I was younger, everything outside of me was telling me to get smaller to shrink but now as an adult the outside world is generally safe for me and the inside of me is telling me to get smaller to not do that to not be embarrassing and so I wanted to share how I make friends and operate in community even when these things are coming up for me I think struggling with self-harm in general for so long really taught me that I do not have to listen to these thoughts in my head so it feels like more of a minor inconvenience now where I'm like oh that doesn't feel good but I'm still going to make plans I'm still going to show up I'm still gonna be really kind to myself and work with where I'm at and one of the things that really helps me is simply claiming the fact that I'm feeling insecure or awkward and I will go up to Reese in the morning when she asks how I am, I'm really honest. I'm feeling a lot of intense judgments towards myself. In my head, I'm making myself wrong in every situation and I just feel a lot of inner tension about it. This is what I'm gonna do to help myself today and thank you for loving me where I'm at. And for some reason, this really takes the pressure off of me. It's just like, I don't have to perform anything. I can just be my awkward, self and stumble upon my words and start stories that lead to nowhere and that is okay and all of hey. my friends are honestly so awkward self and stumble upon my words and start stories that lead to nowhere and that is okay and all of my friends are honestly so loving and affectionate that we are all awkward together and it's really affirming but if you don't have a group of friends even just having one person who sees you accurately may restore your faith and your ability to socialize because I feel like when you have a series of bad interactions it can make you feel like you are the most socially incapable person in the world but then you have a single good interaction and you're like well I'm actually really good at this so that really helps as well as somatic practices to get in my body like yoga meditation <laughs> dancing of course being in nature just things that release those feel-good chemicals in my body and lastly going to places and situations where there are activities to do so not all the pressure to socialize is on you there's a common thing taking place like a meditation class or going to a ceramic studio spaces of common interest will make it so much easier to socialize and you don't have to talk the whole time I love parallel playing that's like a really good space for me to thrive in community and as Ram Dass says let the thoughts and judgments of the mind be the thoughts and judgments of the mind your mind is simply doing exactly what it's been programmed to you are not your mind and you are still worthy of love even when you have a lot of harsh internal dialogue mm -hmm.